Very good to have you. Uh, this event in Pennsylvania underscores yet another uh, reminder of how important Pennsylvania uh, and its, its, its 20 electoral votes are. Um, and I'm just wondering, uh, post the debate and the dust up over what Joe Biden was saying about eventually phasing out of the, the oil industry, I, I know he's put it back to 2050, but between that and confusion on fracking, the president was pouncing on the thing, this guy wants to kill those jobs in states like yours. Um, what do you think of this as an issue? Is it resonating with Pennsylvanians? Well, Neil, I think the record's pretty clear. I think uh, it's clear from what Joe Biden has said over and over again and, and what I know to be the truth, which is he doesn't support a ban on fracking. But what he wants to do is make sure that we do it the, the way that it should be done, like uh, it's done in Pennsylvania, where it's done in compliance with environmental regulations and rules so you're not polluting people's water, their groundwater or their drinking water, and, and uh, polluting the environment. But I think that record is pretty clear. I know the president has been trying to muddy the water, uh, not to overuse the analogy, but I think, it's, I think it's pretty clear to people. And I think at the same time, there are a lot of people in our state that know that we've got we've to confront the challenge of climate change and deal with it. And I think that's, uh, that's but pretty when he clear. says, Senator, when yeah. he says, Senator, I want to transition from the oil industry and try to clarify oh. that, said, I've always said, I don't know what's surprising people. Uh, it, it, you obviously have a big energy fracking state. Um, are they all on board with the notion that we are going to transition away from that? If I'm a young worker and I'm looking for a job in that industry and I, I'm, I'm hearing a, a potential president say, that it's going to start phasing out. There doesn't seem to be much of a future in it. So I might look elsewhere, right? No, I think there's a future in it because in, in our state, uh, fracking not only provides an opportunity for job growth and continued stability in the job market and a lot of employment, but it also makes us less dependent on uh, Middle East oil. So it's, it's been um, a great benefit, both in an energy sense as well as the job sense. But Joe Biden's going to going to work hard to protect the environment and make sure that we still have those jobs that uh, that come from gas extraction. But Neil, I think the, the No, I understand I, that, but do you think yes. he also addressed Senator the notion of taking away subsidies up for the industry? Um, I mean, to hear that in a state like yours or support for an industry that's such a big employer, I guess what I'm asking is is that going to hurt him in Pennsylvania? Are people going to hear that and say, "Look, I know he's you know, low emission energy and all that. I know he is for cleaner fuels and all that. I just didn't know, you know, how anti he was, all the stuff that we're doing. What do you say to them? No, look, I, Neil, I think it's, it's, it's pretty clear. And, and most people in Pennsylvania are concerned about two fundamental issues, right? The, the, the virus and jobs and, and the economy, both of which are interrelated. You can't, we can't recover fully until we tackle the virus. That's why the difference between the candidates and the president still doesn't have a virus plan. No plan to tackle the virus, no plan to create good paying jobs. He's going to, Joe Biden's going to be in Luzerne County today. Uh, that county right now, as of the month of uh, just the last monthly number, 18,000 people out of work, 12 percent unemployment, and, and almost 28,000 people would lose their health care if they get their way on destroying the Affordable Care Act. So. When, when, when people in Luzerne County or northeastern Pennsylvania or statewide are thinking about the election, they're thinking about two things, tackle the virus and, and have a jobs plan. Joe Biden's got both, and I think that's why he's ahead. All right. It might be, and you're quite right, we haven't seen any polls post his comments in the debate here, but if you're looking at Luzerne County, I guess there's 12 percent unemployment rate you allude to, Senator. It could be a lot worse. Um, if if the, the energy industry in your state in that county is, is walloped, right? I mean, but Neil, how does he address that? What do you think he does? But, but Neil, that unemployment rate in Luzerne County in Pennsylvania and America could be a lot better if the president got serious about tackling the virus. I, I, I have one question for the president on the virus. You have to wonder, would Donald Trump have gotten the, the uh, coronavirus if President Trump did a better job tackling the virus? We've got a, we need a strategy, Neil, to, to put this virus behind us. We should be ahead on that, and we should be further down the road of creating millions of good-paying jobs. Joe Biden's got a plan. 160 countries have it, right? I mean, the, 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 the president of Poland was just diagnosed, tested positive of the virus right now, right. as was uh, the leader, the prime minister of Britain, not too long ago. So it's, right. it seems to have fairly reckless abandon when it comes to picking and choosing where 
it targets and who it targets. It's across the globe. So can you really blame the president um, for that, especially when we look at death rates, which is tragically a, a, a metric you should consider? Uh, per 100,000, the U.S. is 11th, is, is used 11th on that list. I'm not minimizing the deaths. I'm not minimizing the hospitalizations. I'm not minimizing everything that's happened. But on a per capita basis, there are countries on this planet, a hell of a lot of worse. No, but Neil, I think here, here are the important numbers on death, deaths and cases. Four in 20. We've got 4% of the world's population. We've got 19 or 20% of the deaths. That, that number has been pretty steady. And a little bit higher, 20 or 21 percent of the cases in the world. J just on that alone, it's clear that we are not where we need to be. I, look, I live in northeastern Pennsylvania, one county over from Luzerne County. I'm in Lackawanna. Our case numbers are going up in, in these counties, going up statewide. We have to tackle the virus. And it would be great for the country if the president wore a mask all the time. I could give him one that says vote on it. And, and have, a, have a strategy. Talk about tackling this virus every day. Everyone would be better off. He could affect the behavior of tens of millions of people. And we know if more people are wearing masks, more people are taking it seriously, we can put the virus behind us and fully recover. All right. We'll see what happens. Senator Casey, thank you for taking the time. Uh, Thanks, Senator Neil. Casey, beautiful state of Pennsylvania.